Hey, what's up, everybody? So in response to some of the comments I've been getting about Splash Pro AI and, you know, some people com not complaining, but reporting like difficulties in its usage and whatnot, I've decided to go ahead and shoot this video as an alternative, some free MIDI generating tools and some paid alternatives that you can use to help you generate MIDI you know, for music. It's no secret, right? You know, everybody doesn't know all of the chords. Sometimes you might need a little help and these tools are definitely there to help you. So the first one I have up is Sanjin app. Now Sanjin app is for the Mac users and the iPhone users. So anything Apple, <laughs> this is for you. If you want something that'll help you get started with generating ideas, use this. I've read a couple of people's their experience on using this and they seem to like it they have the free version and then this is i think this is 10.99 a month like anything else start with the free version and then see if you like it i have not used this yet because <laughs> i didn't have a mac until recently so i would say if you got a mac use this and see if you like it it might be all you need and you know if not we got some other options available doing a quick search on the interwebs you know i typed in basically ai generating music generating tools i found this article right here five ai music apps that you can use as a melody so yeah just type this stuff in and, and see what you can find but there's you know five very powerful apps that they recommend I have not tried any of these out at all. So I couldn't tell you how well they work and their strengths and weaknesses, but it's worth taking a look. Five music apps that you can use as the melody generator. I just found this one out upon reading that app. And so <clears throat> this is Audio Cypher. This is a little bit more unique in that you take words and those words become MIDI tools that you begin to use to you know, basically come up with ideas. Again, you know, check it out. They have a, a free version, or at least they prompt you to download. And then they have a buy now version. So I don't know the difference between the two or if you pay for it. According to this article, there is a part try audio cipher with the 100% C open AI MuseNet to leverage. So. I don't know if it's free. You might get a little trial on it. If not, that's okay. 22 bucks. It's not really super duper expensive. Moving on, Magenta Studio. This is one that I found that is very similar to Splash Pro in the sense that the layout looks very similar. However, some differences are Basically, you're going to get several plugins when you download this. And when you open those up, they're going to come with different stuff that you can use and generate. Some of those will require that you open up a file and have MIDI information, and then it will go in and modify that MIDI. <clears throat> Some of this stuff, you know, it'll just allow you to generate with various degrees. I have not tested it out in full, but it's another this one is free like i downloaded it got started and i didn't have any corks in terms of using it so i'd highly recommend checking this out seeing if you like it they got a groove section a drum section interpolate they have a generate with various degrees some of these you just got to be mindful of i think with the the generate and the continue both of these they have a what they call a temperature section and a variation section. So with temperature, you basically, it's going to determine how many, how much variation you get with your loops. And, you know, the higher you go up, you're going to have a lot of variation, probably to the extent that it can become chaotic. You go lower in the temperature scale, you'll have moderate variation. So, again you can check this out this one is free to download and use you can lock it in with ableton like you can use it exclusively as an ableton plugin or you could download it standalone so either or <clears throat> you can use now 
Here is another tool that you can use to help you generate MIDI. This is free, but they have different versions that you can use. This is called Soundful. I'm at mysoundful.com. And basically what this does is it will generate a whole song idea for you. <clears throat> once you sign in and give your, not give your information, once you sign up and sign in, you will then go to the website and pick the style of music that you want to generate. And, you know, it'll generate some stuff for you. Not bad. skip over some of this using the free version you only get so many downloads per month I think you get like one and then you can do the paid version and then you'll have more features like bouncing stuff to stems and bouncing stuff to MIDI exporting it as a wave or mp3 so depending on what you pay for the more options you have in terms of flexibility and the limitations on what you can download so it's something to look into and you might find it useful there was another one uh sheesh i have to go back i can't find it right now let's go here Yep, sound draw. Sound draw is another music generating tool. Again, this one, I think it'll give you a free trial. You can generate royalty free music. In terms of pricing, varies 16 a month to 19 a month, depending on if you just want to do a month to month or if you just want to lock in for about a year and pay and get, you know, all the features. <clears throat> you generate unlimited songs bookmark songs, YouTube, social media, whatever, you know, depending on what your needs are, you may need something with, you know, being in the social media space. And that is a thing. Now you have a lot of people that are in the social media space that are looking for music, hint, hint, and, you know, they need background music to help sell their product or help engage their audience. And so they're using this, and you could probably use some of it too for you know getting some sort of idea down if you need it the results will vary i have listened to some of these demos and you know depending on your taste they may not suit you but let's take a look yikes <laughs> Let's try this one. I mean, not bad. So again, depending on what your musical tastes are and your needs, you know, if you're someone that struggles with generating or coming up with ideas this may be useful <clears throat> might not be but it's available now if you are a beat maker and you're some or a producer and you're someone that struggles with the melodies and whatnot also keep in mind that a lot of your daws will have these tools already built in so if you use cubase even if you have like the light edition they have a, a chord generator that's very similar to Reason in some ways that you can pick your chords, you pick your scale, press chords, or press your note on the keyboard, and you can do various chord progressions that will help you spit out stuff. I think even the, I know like even the cheap version will do it, but all the way up to the more expensive pro version it will definitely have a lot of tools available so depending on which version of cubase you have there's something in there for everybody i know fl studio has its own midi generating tools that help you come up with chord progressions if you struggle with that ableton live has its own stuff that you can use its own midi effects and you know what you get I would assume varies depending on which version of Ableton you have, be it standard or sweet. 
but they have tools available to help you come up with ideas. Waveform is a DAW that is free, and they also have just a lot of different tools available within the DAW that will help you come up with chords and ideas. Um, and that's completely free. So you can take your MIDI or your ideas that you've made in there and upload your favorite VST and start changing stuff as needed to get the sound you like. There's also, let's not forget Reason. Reason has a bunch of stuff, both in the subscription and in the standard version to help you get started coming up with ideas and generating melodies and harmonies and all of that stuff. So don't overlook your dolls and some of the tools that they have available. And then, you know, we got the plugins like Instacore 2 is having a sale, it's roughly 27 bucks right now. And it's got some AI capabilities. They also have Insta Composer as well that came out last year. And again, it, it's got some features that will help you generate chords and different chord progressions. Those are paid, but I mean, you know, you can catch these on sale for a very, you know, reasonable price. 26 bucks or 27 bucks, pardon me, is not bad. And if you already had the first Instacore, then 15 bucks is definitely not bad. So those are some paid tools that can help. There's also stuff like Scalar, Scalar 2, Captain Plugins, <clears throat> trying to think, Orb Producer and Orb Composer. You know, those will help. Those are a little bit more on the expensive end, but I think... I know Orb, I think it's producer or composer. They have sales periodically and you can get them for half off. And again, you know, for 50 bucks, it can help you come up with ideas if you struggle with that. And, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, I think um, if that's what you need to help you get started, that's what you need. So use it if, if it's beneficial for you. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I don't want to go on and ramble too much, but, you know, this was, a, again, a response to the Splash Pro comments and questions asking, you know, what about, you know, having this to, to download and do stuff? And it seems like they've discontinued the product. I've had various degrees of luck. Sometimes when I open it up, you know, I'll be able to generate MIDI, and then sometimes I have issues. Um, that's the downside of software you know it comes and it goes and some lasts for a long time and some doesn't and when companies decide to move on you know it's no longer supported but i hope this video helps and i hope you find something useful all right i'm tim keys i'm out peace